All right, this is Sparkman with the Kalabot Chronicles. We're ready to start the third mission on Tropica on the offensive. All right, develop an, an offensive, uh, develop an offensive weapons system and confront the giant ants. Let's see what we got. All right. So we're landing on a new spot, same planet. I see an ant over there. Can you see it over there? Off on the hill just behind the spaceship. So, uh... Yeah, we haven't got rid of the ants. Oh, our bots are back. Awesome. Our bots came back. So we've got a wing grabber and a wheel grabber. Where do they go? It must have been in storage or something. It's kind of interesting. So there's a bunch of things that we can build here. Let's go ahead and check our instructions and see what we're supposed to do. All right, terminate all hostile life forms. Yes. Get rid of those ants. I hate ants. Did I mention I hate ants? Okay. Form the necessary research program in order to develop an offensive weapon system. The satellite has detected an energy source on a spot mocked by a previous expedition with a blue flag. All right. It looks like a blue cross. Okay. Do not forget to look at the satellite report. We have improved the recharge program. Now, it's just a program, simple program that they include. Um, just causes the bot, the bot to switch a uh, energy cell with a cell that's right in front of it. Okay. Bots cannot be, in, be submerged. If in doubt, test the water yourself. If you plan to radio control a winged, non-winged bot across water, it shouldn't be deeper than knee level. All right. So yeah, it's approximate, but yeah, you don't want to go in the water with your wheeled bots or land in the water with the wing bots for that matter. All right, so we've got an energy source. Um, there's an area with marked with a blue flag where we can uh, build an energy uh, recharge center. Uh, detected giant ants. Danger, not immediate, but uh, I guess we don't want to go close to them. Detected reusable derelicts. All right, so we've got some uh, stuff that we can find. Okay, so this is our recharge thing. Um, just basically goes and it goes to a recharge station. No, the other one I was thinking of actually is this switch cell. It just switches a cell. Anyway, so we don't have a lot of resources. Let's go ahead and start using the uh, astronaut. Our uh, flying ability has been fixed, which is nice. We've got a titanium cube right here. This is the blue flag. This is where our energy source is. We're actually going to move this just a little bit, just to, because those plants tend to get in the way on this mission. All right, so we need a power station. power station. Alright, there's a bunch of uh, energy cells that are almost dead sitting around here. It's kind of interesting is, uh, well like I mentioned, you can pick it up. If you set it down, it doesn't charge. You gotta be carrying it. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Alright. Ooh, there's a hidden one back behind there, too. I'm just going to charge up a couple of these cells and then go back to the uh, spaceship. Start setting up uh, a few things that we need there as well. This is kind of a longer mission than most of the others. Um, more on the lines of uh, the first moon mission, maybe a little longer. All right. So we got some charged up power cells. Obviously, we could walk those over there to the uh, spaceship, but that's a big pain. We've got our uh, winged grabber. That's really the best thing to use on this mission. But for now, uh, let's go over here. We're going to need a few things. Uh, we're going to need a research center and a bot factory. Now, when we're looking for a spot, a flat spot to put a thing, we can push this little button right here. It does a little kind of sonar thing. 
red areas are unbuildable and uh, you have to find a big enough green area to be able to build certain things let's see we don't let's do our research center do reason to do it here because there's no ants around to, to harass us if we build something too close to the ants they'll get agitated and attack it and then we'll be out of building and that's not good all right and we need we need a bot factory. Come on, get out of my way. Alright, so we'll grab another titanium cube. Now we can build a radar too. It's not absolutely necessary, but it is helpful. Because the radar will mark the position of any enemies on the screen. Alright, let's see if that's big enough to do our bot factory. The little dotted lines that, that go around indicate how large of a uh, building you can make. If you're too close to something, it'll make the little red dotted lines indicating that, uh, that something else is too close or that the uh, space, flat space that you're trying to build on isn't big enough. Alright, so let's, let's do some flying with the winged bot. First order business, we're going to do our research, get that done and over with. Careful not to bump into anything when you're flying. It tends to get you hurt. Alright, let's start a research program. We've got a shooter program. If you check right now on our bot factory, we, all we can build is grabbers. Track grabbers, wheel grabbers, wing grabbers. Well, nothing but grabbers. Alright, so we're going to do a shooter program. And in the meantime, let's go get another power cell. We're going to need that eventually. I think I made a program one time to go and uh, look for power cells, charge them up, and bring them over close to the spaceship. I'm not sure what I did with that program or if I even saved it. So uh, we're just going to do some of this manually. One thing that we're, we're kind of short on here is titanium cubes, but there's actually some titanium cubes hidden somewhere. In fact, I think it says so here. Um, subsoil. Oh no, it's uh, titanium ore. So uh, the, yeah, there's no titanium ore but there is some uh, titanium cubes. That's part of their uh, derelicts they're talking about. All right, so let's go ahead and build us our, a winged shooter. We gotta power it with a power cell. Now we could do a couple things once we have our winged shooter. We can either pilot it manually or we can try to load up a uh, program to go and kill bots. Let's try the program that kill, kills bots automatically and see how that does first. Alright, so here's our bot. Now, interesting thing about the uh, fire, the uh, shoot here, is that it shoots in one second bursts, which is uh, actually several shots, and it's kind of a waste of energy. Which you so you really want to use some sort of a program no matter what. All right, so we're going to go ahead and load up a program. Let's see, these programs are not actually mine. The uh, let's see, Superior Air Fighter. We'll try that one. All right, you can see this is actually a pretty long program, and it's uh, kind of a generic all-purpose. Uh, go and kill things program. All right, and we've got the ability to switch to uh, first person. Oh no! Oh, here we go. We've got a, a camera button. That's the what does it. There's also a shortcut key. Space will do it as well. All right, but well, that's all our time for for this uh, video. We'll we'll start again on the next one.